Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. In this shave, I am using my Thierry Zar, and this is the Bison. It is just marvelous. That is a full hollow, and it's this is faux turtle. It is just beautiful. It really is. Now for our soap tonight, here we go. This is the Atomic Age Bay Rum. This is from PAA and I believe this is the Crown King formula. It is just marvelous. It really is. Now I have had that blooming. We're going to pour off the bloom water and put that on as a pre-shave. Yep. So we're going to get that going. Mm hmm. Yeah, buddy. This has got a nice scent on it. It really does. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, get that worked in. That's going to be my kind of pre shave routine. Yep. Now, here we go for my brush tonight. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This brush was turned by Rick, the father in law of Peter Wolf, who cast the resin block, and that is a synthetic brush. Very nice. So, this is a splash and go. We're just going to get it wet, and we can go straight to the puck to load it. Yep. Doesn't have to be soaking. There we go. Oh yeah. Now, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the midweek shave, the wonderful Wednesday shave of the day, hump day. Yep, and hopefully the world's treating you good and you're in high spirits and you're getting some good shaves. Yep, oh yeah. Yep, so we had a, wow, there we go. We had a wonderful time with our son and daughter here over the last, well, few days. Yeah, our son uh, took off on uh, Sunday morning to go back to Virginia. Yeah, but it was really good to get to see him. Yeah. And uh, yeah, now if you are wondering where the music is coming from, it is from my son. So this is original music that he wrote and performed. So if you like the music, it is due to him. Yeah. And he is just absolutely talented and is letting me... <laughs> I'm getting this all over me, but letting me use his music, which is marvelous. Yeah, because I really enjoy it. And I hope you do as well. Now, just trying to get that last little bit out of there. There we go. And we're just going to put that on the face and massage it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, this is part of my pre-shave routine. And I'm thinking, probably some of you are thinking, you could shave with this. Yeah, and you probably could, probably could. I may have, or may not, have overloaded the brush. I'm sure I overloaded the brush, yeah. But, let's go ahead, see if I can get I'm telling you, this is slick soap. And see if I can get that off of my hands. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Making a mess. We're going to just go ahead and paint that in. And I am sure this time I overdid it. It's been a minute since I used this soap. I think it's probably middle of last summer when I used this soap. But it's all right. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. 
yeah we'll just keep putting some water in it and it'll be good yeah nice just like that Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Slick soap, I'm telling you. go all right now let's see I'm gonna go ahead and clean off that handle a little bit definitely <laughs> made a little bit of a mess but that's what it's about right we can make a mess it'll be fine yes it will all right now this is pass one. And for me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain. Let's do this. Nice. Now, find that spot. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're going to get underneath that nose. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah buddy, that's good, it is. Now we're switching hands. 
we're gonna get this other side. Yep. Yeah. Gonna stretch with that offhand. Nice. Oh yeah. Taking those whiskers right off. <laughs> really good. Yep. Oh yeah, that is so nice, really is. Now, get this side. There you go. That's good. Yeah, it is. Now, here we go. Let's get that rinsed off. See how we did. Oh, marvelous. Wow, my hair is terrible. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a haircut at some point. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's good. Good beard reduction. All right. Oh yeah, that is good. Now, here we go. Let's get our lather on. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the thing. We do multi-pass shaves, so don't try to get it all on one pass. Mm-hmm. You know, you can you can do more. You don't have to get it all in one. And in all reality, possibly you don't need three. Okay. Now what you could do, like me, I do a two and a half pass shave and that works for me. Now the trick is for you, you need to find out what works best for you. So the first pass for me primarily is with the grain. Mm -hmm. And then the second pass primarily for me is going to be a, against the grain. All right. Now there's two schools of thought on this. You could do an against the grain pass on that second pass, or you could do a cross the grain. All right. So that depends on you in what works best for you. Now, I have found that I don't really need that across the grain. Yep. And then I'm good with two and a half passes. So my second pass primarily is going to be against the grain. And my third pass is going to be primarily against the grain. Mm-hmm. So, that's what works for me. Now, you just have to figure out what works for you, all right? And now, not everybody's beard is the same, and you may be able to do what I do, or you may be have to modify it, all right? So, feel free. Take some license there, all right?
There we go. Nice. Yeah, just take some license and figure out what works best for you. Now, while I'm thinking about it, like this video if you liked it or found it helpful. It does help me and uh, that is a good thing. All right. So now this is pass two. And for me, primarily, that is going to be against the grain. Let's do this. There we go. Now, right there, that was really pretty much across the grain. But in this area, this is going to be against the grain. Rotating that blade around that chin, trying to keep it flat. Yep. That is going to be the best way. Now, switching off to my non-dominant hand, and we're going to do this side. Nice. Keeping that blade clean so you can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Nice. Now that was completely against the grain on that cheek and then across the grain on the front of that chin. We're finding those bumps. There we go. Nice. Yep. Now, mustache area is going to be across the grain. Down here, this is going to be with the grain. Let's do this. There we go. Nice. Yeah, buddy.
Yeah, I hope you're getting some good shapes. I do. All right, there we go. Pass two complete. Now, let's get that rinsed off, see how we did. I think it felt good though. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, cheeks. Brilliant. Right where they are. Perfect. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. And this, did I tell you, is really slick soap? Yep, it is. All right. Let's go ahead and get our lather on. Now, like I was saying earlier, we do multi-pass shaves, so you don't try to get it all in the first pass or even the second pass, okay? I'm not saying you can't do that, but it's not a requirement, all right? Now, here's the other thing. I have got the next installment of the How To Start Straight Razor Shaving Series coming this Friday. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Yep. Looking forward to that one. I think it's gonna be interesting. You know, things, things you need and things you need to know. Yeah. So, that's gonna be a good one. It is. All right. Got to get those hands and dry. There we go. Here we go. Time for the half pass. For me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Let's do this. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now we're switching hands. Going to do this side. All right. Oh, nice. Hmm. Maybe hit a little something there. No big deal. All right. Here we go. Another shave in the books. And it felt good, it did. Now, let's get that rinsed off. See how we're doing. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> get the soap all over everything. It's okay though, no big deal. All right, now. We are going alum everywhere. This is astringent antiseptic. This will close off all those little bumps you might have hit 
and it'll tighten your skin and take care of it. Yeah. So we'll just put that on everywhere. Yeah, it looks like I'd hit something right down there. No big deal. Yep. There we go. Now, I will take this little towel and just pat that dry. Just like that. Yep. Next up, if you can't take alum straight up, go with a cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. In my case, I am going with the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. This is good stuff. It really is. And I think it's going to work well with this soap as well. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And if you get red skin, this will help get that red out. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, that feels good. Hmm. Fantastic scent. Now, here we go. We're going with the Atomic Age Bay Rum, and this is their Star Jelly. Yep, good stuff. It, it's unusual, but it's good. And it just comes out, looks like that, and I'm sure that's probably way more than I need, but that's okay. Oh, fantastic scent. And I am going to put that everywhere. I am. And that does have a bit of menthol, which is good. Yeah. Now, it's still not warm, warm here, but it, we're getting there, so it's all right. Now, let's finish off with Clubman Panade. Panade Clubman, this is Virgin Island Bay Rum. So this is kind of a spicy Bay Rum. Yep. And fantastic, fantastic scent. Oh, yeah. If you like a spicy Bay Rum, this one's for you. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see how to start straight razor shaving the series. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.